okay this was paying 20 rupees take this was also paying 20 rupees and this was also paying 20 rupees okay clear okay now if they are paying 20 to 20 rupees take so from here i am only getting 60 rupees right yes now the deficit is for 100 rupees I need money. So what I did, I increased their tax. Now you have to pay 30. Right? 30. Yes. And this one, he has to pay 40. So 30, 30, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I got 100. I'll pay the tax. So okay. what they basically did, or what they did basically, either they will increase the tax or they will increase the product prices. Like for example, the a product, whichever you will be purchasing, they will increase the price of that particular product. So earlier, if you are purchasing this washing machine for uh, 50 rupees, now you will be purchasing this washing machine for 80 rupees. 80. Like, yes? So this yeah. is called deficit financing. Just to cover their deficit, they will be increasing the price of the product or they will increase the taxes. Okay? Okay. Then financial burden for the future generation. Now this government took loan. That government was unable to pay back the loan. Then the future government would be paying the loan. Right? So borrowing lead to the burden for future generation as payment of loan and interest on loans get accumulated whose burden is to be borne by the future generation in the form of more tax and non-tax revenue. Okay? So over here you will not pay loan. It will keep on get accumulating. Jama out right? Right? Once you get accumulate, jama ho gaya. Like for example, I had to pay 10 rupees tax. Okay? 10 rupees was this, my loan. Plus 2 rupees I have to pay tax. Okay? I didn't pay it. Now it became 12. Now when this 12, I have to again pay 2 rupees tax. I didn't pay this as well. Now it became 14 plus 2. Then after this, my government tenure get, got, get over. Khatam ho gaya. Now you became the next prime minister. Right? So at that time, yeah. what you will do? 14 plus 2. That means 16 rupees you have to pay. Because I didn't pay tax and it got accumulated. Like it keeps on accumulating. Jama hota ra, right? And the burden, it was not on me. But on the future government. Your government was the next government. So that future government basically was uh, like had the tension that they will be paying the tax. They will paying the loan. Right? Yeah, ma'am. So this is called future burden for the future generation. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, ma'am, how to measure to, uh, like, how to reduce the fiscal deficit? So, first, there are two measures to reduce the fiscal deficit. First, measure to reduce public expenditure. Of course, you have it, this. So, reduce the public expenditure. Don't spend a lot. Right? Yes. Okay, then or whatever the non plans are there, curtail it, remove that. Okay, then we measure to increase the revenue. Now you need to increase the revenue, you need more and more money. So increase the price of taxes, whatever import tax you have imposed, just increase it. Then efforts should be made to increase income from the public sector enterprises. Whatever public sector is giving you the money, you should like you should get more and more money from there. Plus, tax evasion should be controlled. The people who are not paying tax, you should keep a track on them and make sure that everybody in the country is paying tax. So, these are the methods through which you can reduce your fiscal deficit. Whatever deficit you have, whatever kami, that the money kami you have, you can only conquer this if you follow this. Okay? Yes? But... So now you will write from here, foreign dependent cause in this. Just write it, then read it again. If you didn't get it, I'll explain that. Okay, but first write, then read it again. And also write this up. Okay? Which, uh, which book? This book? Yeah. This is like, Raghav's, uh, Dr. Raghav book. Dr. Raghav. Mom, please, from next time, please take... We yeah, this going. one, this chapter, I'll finish it from here. Next one, I'll get the e copy of the Vikas Ori book. Which, are, which one? Vikas Ori, you are calling the VK. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Correct. From next class, we have to start Indian economics. Let's see if we, finish, if we can finish this. Yeah. But Sunday, I will, uh, from next next Saturday, maybe I will join, maybe. 
from next saturday or next saturday no next saturday maybe i will join maybe you can just let me know yeah because ma'am because that that time i have my flight okay back you can just yeah. let me know if you are not joining yeah economic Thank you. Ma'am, Lenny is giving offline classes also? Uh, no, no. Only online. Uh, yes. Because usually they teach foreign students. Huh? So, and it's like over here we teach till 11.30. So, it's not possible to go late nights. Okay. No, like, uh, is there no, like, uh, some mistake? Uh, compared to like not compare, we still we can say the Vajus and the dev thing they have offline ones. Ha, but basically they teach Indian student mostly, na? Yeah, but physics are also come in foreign, but no, but they charge too much. Yes, that's the only difference. If you are asking a teacher to come late night, of course, there will be a difference, right? Because if somebody is uh, traveling late night, which is like 11.30 to finish our classes. So after 11.30, we share homework and all that. It's become 12 and 11. 12 or 1. And then we have to come home. So of course, it's not easy for everybody to go that much late, na? No, like I'm saying like this, like uh, they are taking, often they are taking in online, like uh, in morning or offline. But like those students are not come, they are taking online. Yeah. The foreign students there in foreign also there is a PW sector. Yeah, they they are opening. They are opening, no? They have not started yet. Like they are no, you can say, uh, they are using that uh, marketing. Hmm. Because I know it's near. It's like ten kilometer from me. But it's the same with they are, they are very expensive. Expenses is too much, no. Okay, Vivek, write it down. I'm just coming in two minutes. Okay. Sure, ma'am.
Đến rồi. Me. And I'm coming to next. Ma'am, scroll up, please. Ma'am.
Done, Vivek? Okay. Now let's just start with the primary deficit. Okay, the last deficit which is left. That is primary deficit. Okay. So primary deficit is basically the difference between the fiscal deficit of the current year and the interest payment of the previous borrower. Okay, this is the definition of principal deficit, primary deficit. Now how would you get to know that this is the primary deficit? Okay, there are certain days. So primary deficit is defined as a fiscal deficit minus interest payment on the previous borrowing. So from here you will write, it indicates the amount of borrowing required to meet expenditure other than the interest payment. Right? So by looking at the primary deficit, they basically tell you how much money you need to borrow to cover your deficit other than interest. Okay? Then fiscal deficit refers to the borrowing inclusive of interest payment. Primary deficit refers to the borrowing requirement exclusive of interest payment. Very, very important point. In fiscal deficit, you they tell you how much money is need, like you need to borrow, including the interest. Okay? But in primary deficit, they tell you how much money you need to borrow, but they don't include the interest as well. Okay? So, it implies that the primary deficit is zero, then the fiscal deficit is equal to interest payment, which indicates that the interest payment on the previous loan. Okay, no need to write this. Till here, you will write. What I am saying, you, for example, 10 rupees you took as loan, you have to pay 2 rupees. So, if I tell you that uh, you have to pay only, you borrow, when if you borrow, listen to it very carefully. If you borrow, 10 rupees. Or you borrow, 12 rupees. So, this is primary deficit. And this is fiscal deficit. Okay. In primary deficit, I only tell you that value that you need to borrow, but I don't include interest, which is this. But in fiscal deficit, I include pay interest as well as the money that you need to pay back. Clear? Yeah. Got it, Vivek? Is it clear? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. And now, how to reduce it? So, primary deficit indicate borrowing requirement of the government to meet the deficit other than interest payment. Therefore, effort should be made to reduce the fiscal deficit. If you will reduce the fiscal deficit, automatically primary deficit will be reduced. Okay? And to reduce the fiscal deficit, interest payment should be reduced through repayment of loan as early as possible. So, if you want to reduce primary deficit, reduce the fiscal deficit. And if you want to reduce the fiscal deficit, just pay back all the loan as soon as possible. Only then you will be get rid of loan. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Quickly write it down. Um, I want uh, from starting revision... Uh... Huh? I want revision like uh, uh, after my exam of this chapter. Yes, yes, yes. We'll do that. Don't worry. Because man, we we had gap na between. That's why I forgot everything from there. Yes, we'll do it. Don't worry.
डन मैम ओके सो फर्स्ट यू विल राइट ऑल द फॉर्मूलाज ओके इन योर नोटबुक देन वी विल स्टार्ट विद द नंबर ओके दीज आर द नुमारिक ओके ऑफ कोर्स देयर आर ओनली थ्री डेफिसिट सो यू हैव टू फाइंड ओनली थ्री डेफिसिट ओके सो फर्स्ट वन ओवर हियर इज फिजिकल डेफिसिट ओके व्हिच इज टोटल एक्सपेंडिचर माइनस टोटल रिसीट एक्सक्लूडिंग बोरोइंग राइट एंड इन केस ऑफ टोटल एक्सपेंडिचर इज मेड अप ऑफ दीस टू पॉइंट्स रेवेन्यू एक्सपेंडिचर एंड कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर and total receipt is made up of two points revenue receipt and capital receipt clear this and then revenue deficit and then primary deficit okay okay numerical yeah numerical start from there no sorry nothing i think question start from there no questions i uh, yes first write the formula then we we'll start with the numerical
And this one, which done? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So over here now, this is a question. I'll not tell you anything. Just we have to find the revenue expenditure. Do this. We have to find the revenue expenditure. Hmm. Okay. Ma'am, from the first formula, I have to find it from first formula. Think about it. Because it's actually revenue huh. expenditure. The revenue expenditure is coming that one only. Hmm. Revenue deficit equals to hmm. yeah. that one. I'm 15 crore. 115 or 15? 1500. Huh? How got you got 150? Like what, what I have done, uh, I will tell you. Revenue, uh, revenue, revenue expenditure deficit have... equals, so I'm doing it. Revenue yeah. expenditure minus revenue receipt. Revenue deficit was given 35. Revenue expenditure was not given. Revenue receipt was given 70. You have to find revenue expenditure. This will go this side. 35 plus 70. 105 but, you got revenue expenditure. Ma'am, that one I, I know. That one I got. I know, yeah. But I have included one, 115. one. I include 120. I have written this. I am doing with the second formula. Which formula? This one. The uh, R. Revenue expenditure plus a capital expenditure. This one I have done. Same formula only I did. Yeah, but with this formula, I guess. Yeah, this, this is revenue expenditure only. This is revenue receipt only. They have just written total. That's it. I get that. Do it again. Also. Do it again. That one I know, ma'am. That one I get, but. Just do it again and tell me what you are getting now. Okay. With second formula. With second formula, yeah. 
Yeah, this one. But I done with the first formula. Why? Fiscal deficit. Where the fiscal deficit is given? Nowhere. Okay, ma'am. 35. R E is equals to P E minus P R. This P is not given, no zero. Revenue expen uh, revenue to the gap. Seventy. Thirty five zero one seventy. So P uh, E from there, it will be plus. I get done, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Hmm. Now this one. Just think which formula you will apply. First form, no second, third formula. I have to yes. apply. Hmm. Third formula is for physical deficit minus interest interest period. Okay, ma'am. Interest required to be this one. The the government. One lakh thirty thousand. Sorry. One lakh thirty thousand. Thirty or forty? Thirty. Is forty. Yes. Yes. Answer. Good. Now this one. Use your brain and do it. Yeah, one way. Third one, government. Uh, how much is the third form I have to use in this one? Just wait, ma'am. Wait, 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 wait. It will be this goes to FD minus IP. PD is given. 12,000, 12 crores plus 2 FT. FT is not given 0 minus IP. Ma'am, it is 19000. Okay, now I will give you a few more questions. Yeah, before that, we have to do a differentiation between the fiscal deficit and the primary deficit. Okay? So, fiscal deficit shows the total borrowing requirement of a government, including the interest. But primary deficit, it shows the total borrowing requirement of the government, excluding the interest. They don't include interest. It is a difference between the total expenditure and total receipt, excluding borrowing. And it is a difference between fiscal deficit and the interest. Okay? Okay? Yes. These two points only you need to write. No need to write the third one because it is only, only the explanation of the second one. Only two. I have to write.